value trades. Welcome back, traders. You probably know that MT4 is the most popular trading platform in the world. To use it effectively and safely, you need to be able to calculate your position size on each trade to allow you to set a stop loss, usually equal to 1% of your account. To do that, you need to know the value of a pip for the quote currency in every pair. If you are new to trading, the currency on the right of a pair is the quote currency and the currency on the left is the base currency. To avoid complicated mathematics, this video will show you graphically how to view your cost per pip. We highly recommend using a demo account for this. Firstly, open a chart with a common Forex pair like Euro Dollar and set the time frame for 1 minute or M1. Locate a price level in an area far away from the current price and open a pending order with a lot size of 1.0. Now set your stop loss at exactly one pip from the entry price and set the order. You can now hover over the stop loss on the chart and see the cost of one pip at a lot size of 1.0 of US dollars as the quote currency is $10. To keep track of each quote currency, you may create a simple spreadsheet and log the cost per pip. Let's put this into practice. For example, we want to open a buy trade on Euro Dollar and set our stop loss 60 pips below the current price with a total risk of $100, which is less than 1% of our account balance. At one full lot, 60 pips times $10 per pip is $600, which is too high. So. Our desired risk of $100 is one-sixth of $600, so one-sixth of one lot equals 0.17 lots. We set our position size at 0.17, open the buy trade, set our stop loss at 60 pips, and we see that the risk of the trade is roughly $100. Let's try a pair where the quote currency is different from our account currency, like Japanese yen. Don't forget that a pip on JPY is found at the second decimal place. Follow the same procedure on the one minute time frame and make note of the cost per pip. This figure will be the same for all JPY pairs. To put this into practice, we want to open a sell trade on a Swiss yen with a stop loss at 30 pips. The mathematics show us that 30 pips at one lot is $263, which is too high. So, our required risk of $100 divided by $263 is 0.38 lots. Once we place the trade at this position size, we see that the total risk is, in fact, $100. We encourage you to maintain this spreadsheet and reconfirm the values of quote currencies that are different from your account currencies as these values will fluctuate. You may follow the same procedures for metals and commodities like gold and oil, or indices like the DAX and the FTSE, but you need to be aware of the larger figures in your calculations. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.